What is up guys? We are back today for another live in the OU tier. I know I missed an upload yesterday. I'm really sorry about that. I uh, meant to get something up, but I did have people over on Monday night, so uh, that really didn't work out. Couldn't get any recording time in, unfortunately. But we are back today, and uh, I was lacking a little bit of creativity as well uh, with designing a team, so I decided to run it back to a, an older team that I used to use before Hoopa got bound. Uh, bound. <laughs> well, you could say bound, but banned. Uh, this is a uh, defensive Venusaur team uh, packing Lum Azumarill for Mega Sableye. This is when Stall was running r rampant. Uh, you'd go for play rough turn one and knock out Sableye due to not being burned from will o -Wisp because of the Lum Berry. This actually has a lot of uh, great implications. You can um, you can stay in on Clefable and play rough it twice if it's already been weakened and uh, basically knock it out, which is really nice. So the Lum Berry helps in a lot of sense. Uh, also prevents you from getting toxic. So Really cool. Uh, we also have, uh, we'll go to the Venusaur first here. We have Giga Drain, Sludge Bomb, Earthquake. You might see that I have a Lanarus and a Garchomp and a Starmie to kill Heatran, but uh, I'd like a Lure because once Heatran is gone on most teams, Venusaur basically just walls the majority of the team, most of the time anyway. But uh, Earthquake is there to be able to, to catch it on Switch and basically two-hit KO it, pretty much any variant. Uh, and then we have uh, Synthesis as well to, to be able to stall things out and gain back health. We have a Choice Specs Magnezone. Now this used to be Choice Scarf, but I decided to go for Choice Specs because I would often, often find myself in a position where um, Ferrothorn would actually be able to stall me out. And uh, if I got a double protect, protect basically with a Leech Seed up, I wouldn't be able to do anything. And it would uh, weaken me immensely, basically rendering Magnezone useless. So I decided to go for a Specs variant instead. Still packing Max speed though. Uh, we're not modest, so this still outspeeds uh, a lot of variants of Scizor and things like that. I don't want to get bodied by a superpower, so uh, that's why I'm running the max speed. And we got Garchomp, pretty much our Talonflame check, uh, as this team does not deal very well with Talonflame otherwise. We have uh, Rocky Helmet here to basically give off a lot of damage. Uh, 248 HP, 168 defense, because I wanted to run enough speed, obviously, to outspeed base 70s that go to 262, like Bisharp and and the likes of uh, Breloom and stuff, so uh, that's what this thing's for. I'm also rocking Stone Edge because I want my Talonflame counter to be able to hit Talonflame back if it burns me, so definitely a uh, pretty good set there. I've also got a Scarf Lanaris. Now, I know I said uh, I used to be Scarf Magnezone. Yes, I was packing dual Scarfers at some point because it worked very well. Uh, it was pre pretty much my counter to uh, lead Kirin Black. Now I have to find other ways to deal with it, but uh, it's not too bad. Turn 1 Stone Edge can pretty much body it, even if I lose my Landorus as a result. But uh, Then we got U-Turn and Hidden Power Ice. Hidden Power Ice, you've seen this on uh, some of our Landoruses before. Really nice for hitting uh, the likes of Garchomp, opposing defensive Landorus, uh, things like that. So, uh, And then finally we have a, uh, a Scald, Psy Shock, Recover, and Rapid Spin. Defensive Starmie with Natural Cure. Very nice. I uh, forget what this thing handles. Well, uh, <laughs> the Lotties, pretty much. It can. I think it can take uh, not Latios, but Latios's Draco Meteor and recover it off, and then basically just stall it out, try to burn it. Obviously, we don't deal with Megalotti too well. Actually, this team in general doesn't deal with Megalotti too well after it gets up a Calm Mind. But um, if it's not packing, um, if it's not packing uh, any Psychic coverage, Venusaur can put in some work on it. So. Uh, we'll see how this team does. I haven't tried it out recently. Well, I have. Uh, I've played a couple of games, but not extensively. So we'll see what we can do with it. As uh, this guy's packing pretty much everything that we can beat. Um, that Thunder scares me a little bit because it can paralyze stuff. But uh, I think other than that, I'm pretty safe to lead with Landorus right here as he leads with Garchomp. Good play on his part. I am just going to Hidden Power Ice this. And uh, we're going to do 64% as you can see. It's a great anti-lead option. Uh, and now on the next Hidden Power Ice, he's probably going to switch out into either his Metagross or his Suicune. Regardless, I think Starmie is my play here, as uh, we can just go into that, and uh, he'll, he'll more than likely switch out here. There we go, we catch the Suicune. And I don't care if he wants to go back into his Garchomp, I am just going to spin here, uh, as he chooses to go Thunderous, actually. So we're going to get rid of these rocks. And like we said before, Thunderous is a little bit of an issue, but again, we have a Mega Venusaur, so <laughs> it's not too big of a, of a deal. We can handle it as uh, he chooses to go for knockoff, so he is a mixed set with Life Orb, so we'll be weakening him a little bit. Uh, right here I want to go for EQ, because the most obvious switch to Venusaur would be Metagross, so I am just going to go for that. As we do catch the Metagross, this is what EQ is also good for. It's not going to do too much, but it's going to weaken it a little bit, put it in range of basically Landorus' EQ, even Garchomp's. Uh, Starmie's Scald is a two-hit KO now, so... Uh, here I'm pretty safe to go directly into... 
Uh, well, he could Ice Punch. That's kind of what I'm scared of. But uh, I'm going to take the chance and go into Garchomp, try to give this thing some residual damage. As he is going to Mega Evolve, he's going to go right for the Zen Headbutt, so great right there. And uh, now I can see him Ice Punching, so I'm going to go directly into Starmie, scout for it. And uh, he does have the Ice Punch, uh, the Freeze wouldn't really matter. But uh, I'm just going to throw out a Scald here, as he is going to go right back into Suicune, that's perfectly fine. We're going to get a Scald off on that, and I don't want to play games with this thing, I'm going straight into my Garchomp. And we are getting a Dragon Tail off, so... Here it goes. Um, I think rocks are a little bit important, not too much. He does crit us there with the Scald. Luckily, he doesn't burn. I don't think the next one takes us out. It shouldn't. It should do about uh, 20... Hmm, 24? Uh, no, that does take us out, but uh, I'm pretty free to Stealth Rock here. He wants to go for a Calm Mind, that's fine, but he actually chooses to just knock us out with Scald, which, again, is perfectly fine. He does have a Ground-type Pokemon that he can go into, but if I pr can predict that one time, his Garchomp is weakened to the point where a Flash Cannon will kill it, so I'm just going to go for that. And hopefully he switches into it. Uh, and he does choose to go into his Garchomp. So now we're free to Volt Switch around on his team. He goes Latios here, which pretty much uh, pretty much telegraphs HP Fire to me. Um, I, I'm not comfortable going directly into Landorus, though, because I will be Okoed by a Draco Meteor. So just got to evaluate what I don't need on the team. Venusaur is very important as it handles the Suicune and the Clefable relatively well uh, between Sludge Bomb, Giga Drain, and so on. I uh, definitely need Magnezone for the Suicune if Venusaur is not able to take it on, so definitely switching out here. I feel that Starmie has pretty much done its job. Yes, it outspeeds Metagross, but so does Landorus, and I don't think it's... No, it's definitely not in range of an Aqua Jet. That thing has ridiculous defense, but um, I'm pretty okay with going to Starmie here. Again, I'm predicting HP Fire, but he actually chooses to go for a Defog. Okay, so neither of us are playing with Rocks this game. And uh, here, uh, I really want to double into Azu. Predicting the Draco, but I'm just going to Scald. Try to get a burn on this thing, as we do not. And he goes for a Draco Meteor, and as you can see, that does knock us out pretty much all the time. Uh, he has to be fearing the Belly Drum right here. So I am just going to go Azu, and I think I'm just going to click Waterfall to damage anything that wants to come in. Uh, or even Knock Off. I think Knock Off is my play. Yeah, definitely, because it'll kill Latios and pretty much... Uh, it'll knock out Metagross with the combination of Knock Off and... Uh, and um, Aqua Jet, obviously. We are going to get rid of Suicune's item, which is great. Uh, he doesn't know what set we are right now, so he can try to burn me, but it's not going to work out for him. I am just going to go directly into Magnezone here, though, because I don't want this thing setting up for free, as he does go for Scald, and he does get the burn there, but that's not too bad, as we can just Volt Switch out here, and uh, he doesn't have a switch to Volt Switch, so we can just play the Volt Switch U-turn game, basically, between Magnezone and... Uh, and Landorus, and as you can see, his Thunderous is now in range of a U-turn from Lando, so that's pretty much going to be a dead Thunderous, which was seemingly the biggest threat to the team, uh, in my opinion. But uh, we're going to get rid of that, and now I'm I'm pretty okay with... Uh, well, this is actually a tough spot, because if I give him a free switch into either Lottie or his Metagross, that could be bad, because they can pretty much Oko anything to come out. So, I have to go, I have to go what here? Uh, yeah, I'm going to go Azu, because uh, basically I force in the Suicune with Azumarill, and uh, I don't know if he's going to want to go for the Scald again. He is. He's hopefully, he gets the burn on that one, but we are alum, so we're able to heal that off, luckily. And we're going to get a crit on that play rough. So basically, he's forced to rest right here. And uh, I'm going to take that in as an advantage to go into uh, my Magna Zone right now. He is going to throw off that rest. And here, uh, Zlatios is still too healthy for me to T-Bolt. So we are just going to go for Volt Switch here. Zlati comes in. And now it's in range of a Thunderbolt. So we're pretty much free to go for that afterwards. Going to go into Lando here. And uh, we're going to throw off a U-turn. It'll kill the Latios. And his Suicune's asleep now, which means I'm not as afraid of going into Azu, because even if I drag it in, it's not a problem. So he's going to go into his Metagross, he's going to put it in uh, Aqua Jet range, so that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go Azumarill here, and uh, we're just going to throw off an Aqua Jet. And if he wants to go Suicune, that's perfectly fine. I mean, again, this is... Uh, at this point, I kind of want to go Venusaur, because I think I knock out Metagross with a Giga Drain, so... Uh, I'm just going to throw that out there. As that does 42, which is a great amount. He doesn't seem to be sleep... Oh, he is sleep talk, okay. Uh, he's going to throw off another Scald. He does not get the burn on that one, luckily. We are just going to throw off another Giga Drain, leave him at 2%. And now he has to go for another rest, so... As he actually chooses to go for Calm Mind. Um, we are faster than his Suicune, as you can see. 
from uh, the previous turns, and I can just throw out another Giga Drain here and knock it out. So now that his Suicune's gone, our Azumarill has a lot of fun. Uh, we did lose our Lumberry, so we are we do run the risk of getting paralyzed by Clef. Uh, but again, not too big a deal. I'm pretty safe to uh, sack off my Magnazone here, uh, as he goes for a nice punch anyway, so that's not going to knock us out. He can throw off another one. Um, kind of want to go Azumarill here, because I don't see him throwing off a Steel move. If anything, he would go for another Ice Punch. That's his best play. And I can still keep this in Flash Cannon the Clef. So, yeah, I'm going to go into Azu here. And uh, I'm pretty sure his uh, his Latios is in range of two Aqua Jets, if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to be able to knock out the Metagross there. Luckily, he didn't have the Bullet Punch. Choose to go directly into Clef as... Um, hmm. kind of want to go into Landorus. At the same time, I don't. Um... Yeah, I'm going to go into Landorus because I don't want to get T-waved on, uh, on my Venusaur. That pretty much spells the end. As he chooses to go directly for the Calm Mind, so... Um, I think I'm just going to throw off an EQ here. Should do a lot. Does 51. And he goes for Moonblast, so we're going to be able to weaken this Clefable. And actually knock it out. So that's going to be a good game as we are Scarf Lano. I'm just going to switch into my Magnazone here. Let him take it down. We know he's Life Orb Latios. And uh, he's going to throw off a Psy Shock, and that's going to be a good game. So luckily we were able to pick that one up. And, uh, yeah, there goes the Latios. We'll try to get another one immediately. That was a good game. I uh, should have dropped a GG for him there in the chat. I'm not used to it. I'm used to going through games really quickly, as you guys might have noticed. But, uh, we actually get rain on this one. Okay. This is a pretty threatening rain team. You don't often see Ludicolo, uh, but it can actually, if it's Swift Swim, it can actually do a lot of damage to my team. As you can see, Azu can't take Giga Drains, neither can Starmie, so... A little bit scary. Uh, I'm gonna have to deal with the Swampert before I can do anything else. And even at that, my Magnazone doesn't outspeed his Kabutops even outside of the rain, so... It's a little bit of a problem, but, uh, just gonna lead Lando, as he leads Torn. I'm thinking he's gonna think I'm not Scarfed, so I'm just gonna throw out an Edge here. And we are not gonna be able to knock out the Torn, unfortunately. Is he Life Orb? No, he is not. He is, uh, Assault Vest. We, we were able to weaken that, luckily. And now he's gonna go into Politoed. Um... I think I'm just going to go Garchomp and get up my rocks, honestly. His spinner is Kabutops, so if it wants to spin, it takes a ton of damage from uh, from doing that on Garchomp. And I'm going to be able to play around it a little bit. Um, I have Magnezone for the Scizor, so I'm not too worried about this getting weakened. He does not pick up the burn there, luckily. And we are able to go for Stealth Rocks right here. I'm kind of predicting the Tornadus to come back in here. To not have to take Stealth Rock damage, but he actually chooses to stay in and he's going to Scald me again. He's going to get the burn. I am going to save my Garchomp because uh, it allows me to get off damage on his Kabutops uh, before uh, before the spin goes off. So definitely just going Venusaur here. Uh, hopefully he goes directly into Kabutops. That would be great. Uh, or into Torn. Torn is fine too. I don't mind Torn at all. Uh, as he actually just decides to throw out another Scald. So I'm pretty sure... Um, I'm pretty sure he's going to go Scizor here, so I'm just going to double into my Magnazone. Unfortunately, he got that burn, so our Venusaur does not have as long to live. Uh, he does go Venus, he does go Scizor, as we predicted. I'm just going to go for a Volt Switch, and at this point, I think I pretty much have to sack off my Garchomp, and hopefully he goes for a Super Power here, uh, as he does, and that means his Scizor's going down as well. So we were able to knock that out with Garchomp. Now Magnazone's not as important. Uh, and I'm kind of fearing the Swampert coming in here, so... Am I forced into Venusaur? I don't think I am. I think my best play is Landorus, to be perfectly honest, because I do get off an Intimidate on something. And if Swampert comes in, it's not faster than me before I Mega Evolution. It still doesn't have the Swift Swim, so we're okay. Um, so yeah, yeah, that's... I was kind of predicting Tornadus, because I felt like he would predict my Venusaur to want to come in, as it has a good matchup against 4 out of 5. And uh, here I can just U-turn, honestly. I'm pretty sure U-Turn takes this thing out from this range. His physical defense is not all that. And the only reason uh, uh, the only reason he didn't die before was because he's Assault Vest. Obviously, he can take better hits on the special side, but I'm pretty sure U-Turn knocks him out here. If Stone Edge did, what, 93? Then U-Turn's definitely knocking him out. It's basically a base 35 move versus base... What is it? Uh, 220, so that's one-sixth of the damage. Anyway, he goes Politoed here, so we're pretty much good. Um, I think I'm just gonna go Azumarill here, because he does not have a good play rough switch in. Uh, alternatively, I can go Magnazone, but he still has the Swampert, which is what I'm scared of. So I am gonna go Azu here. He can throw off a Scald if he wants. I doubt he's faster than me to begin with, 
and uh, secondly, uh, if even if he is and he burns me, again, we are Lum, so we're pretty much good there. And uh, again, he doesn't have a very good switch to this. Um, I don't know how well Ludicolo actually takes play rough. I've never calced it because it's very rare you see Ludicolos up in uh, in OU. You'll normally see a Kingdra in its place, but it's it's not bad. It's it does its job. As he is going to go Swampert here, we are going to get off the play rough. That is a lot of damage. Uh, Rain does fade, unfortunately. And I really do not want to take an Earthquake with Azumarill because of the amount of work it puts in. So I'm just going to go into Landorus here. As he's going to double into Politoed. So that's actually pretty good for us. Because I can either choose to U-turn again. Or go for Stone Edge predicting his Tornadus. Because he doesn't have a good uh, Earthquake switch in. Other than Torn, maybe Ludicolo. Ludicolo is not bad. The thing is I don't want him going for a rest. So I'm just going to throw off an EQ. Hopefully he stays in. And that's going to be the end of his reign right there. So, we'll see what he wants to do, but uh, I really don't want him resting, is basically my point here. Because uh, if he rests, then we're in a bad spot. But we are able to get rid of the Politoed right there. I expect his Ludicolo to want to come out right now, as it does. And um, Venusaur pretty much walls it. I mean, I can throw out a Sludge Bomb after. I uh, don't know exactly how much Scald is going to do to me. Um, but we aren't Mega Evolved yet, so he's actually going to go for an Ice Beam, and he is going to be able to... Uh, knock us out there with the burn. It's not too big of a deal because again, I still have my Magna Zone, so I can choose to go Mag and follow that up with this thing doesn't get Focus Blast, right? No, I don't think it does. Uh, I can either Flash Cannon here or Double because I'm not going for an Electric move as long as that Swampert's around. Alternatively, I could because his Rain's gonna run out at some point. And we still have Starmie. So, yeah, actually, I am going to Volt Switch as he's going to Hydro Pump. And he's just going to knock us straight out. So that's a little bit problematic. I'm kind of worried now. Um, his, uh, I need Landorus to win, don't I? Yeah, I do. How am I going to deal with this thing? He's got, he's got Life Orb Giga Drain on deck. Um, this thing is a problem. I'm surprised that took me out. Well, no, not really. It's in the rain. It's it's Hydro Pump and it's Life Orb boosted, so it shouldn't be too surprising. I just want to calc to see if Ludicolo, uh, where are you? OU Rain Sweeper with Giga Drain takes out a Zoomeril. Let's say I'm Choice Banded. Uh, it does 85 to 101, so not really a role I want to play with. But looking at it, I don't think I have another choice. Um, a Zoomeril does really well against him, but. I mean, so does Starmie, technically. Starmie can can get burns and stuff, so... Uh, I think I have to play with the roll, unfortunately. Uh, with, this is a Choice Banded Calc with 172 HP EVs. I don't even know if we have that. We're 364 HP. This is 384, so this is actually doing more to us. Uh, I gotta remove 80 from here, so that goes down to 92. Uh, and now his Giga Drain is doing 90 to 107, so we've got to land this roll, unfortunately. We do, we do, so we're able to get off a big play rough right here. And uh, he's at 1%. Aqu he's in Aqua Jet range, so we take him out. Awesome, okay, so we were able to keep our Azumarill. I did not expect play rough to do that much. I'm, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you guys. I, I thought Ludicolo was a lot bulkier than that. Uh, as he chooses to go into Kabutops here. Now, I can still keep my Azumarill because it's still Aqua Jets the Torn and Aqua Jets the Swamper. So, I'm going to go into Starmie here, predicting him to Aqua Jet, as he does. Awesome. And here he's probably going to Stone Edge. So, the question is, do I want to predict that and go into Landorus? Uh, I kind of do. Uh, do I need Starmie for anything? If I'm banking on Azumarill winning me the game with Aqua Jet, because Aqua Jet pretty much puts Swampert in Stone Edge range after the rocks. So all I would need to do is land two Stone Edges. So I'm, I'm okay with going for a Scald right here. As he actually goes for Waterfall, I guess maybe predicting my Lando. Uh, and we are going to get the Scald off right there. He's free to go into his Tornadus now and just U-turn out. Um, which I'm actually going to let him do I think I have to lend you stone edges then though that's the issue he's actually gonna forfeit okay that was uh, unexpected I did not foresee him forfeiting but 
He still had a chance to win, a very good chance, actually. Um, I don't know, maybe he predicted me to switch out into Lano and then just EQ. He would have kept getting back 5% at a time because we were able to keep the rocks up. We forced, we pretty much forced the, uh, the Kabutox, uh, Kabutops, excuse me, to attack us, so... Um, that's, that's a pretty good win. I'll, I'll take it, you know. Um, I don't think it's deserved because he could have still won that, but... Uh, guys, I did drop a little bit on the ladder, so you are going to see, be seeing a couple of teams like this until I get my points back up. Uh, and I'm going to be trying to do that because, uh, as you guys know, I'm in the PWM. Um, my week one battle was kind of postponed because my opponent never answered me, and we're, we're still trying to work out uh, what's going to happen with that. Apparently, they're looking for replacement players for that team because two people didn't show up. So, our team basically got a 5-0 if those counts as for forfeits. Uh, if those count as forfeits, so I'm still I really wanted to bring week one battle to you I even made the thumbnail and everything for the video. I was ready to go I was so hyped to, to play a, a, a league match like that, but uh, I'm actually just gonna ignore spectators real quick because a couple of people joined here, but um, Yeah, so I was I was kind of hyped to, uh, to To get into that, but um, unfortunately, that doesn't look like it's gonna happen. So here, I'm just gonna U-turn onto his uh, his Vavillion. I am gonna be bringing you a, a week two match though, so don't worry about that. I'm gonna go into Venusaur here, predicting his uh, his sleep powder, as that is what he goes for. And I can't really stay in on a hurricane, so what do I have that's faster than this? Um, and that also takes a hurricane relatively well. I guess Starmie would be the the play of choice. Um, because I really do not want to take a hurricane. How much does it actually do to me? Hold on. Vivillion. Uh, new Quiver Dance with Hurricane. Unboosted to Venusaur Mega. Defensive. Uh, okay, so it actually doesn't do that much. And our Sludge Bomb should be able to take it out from this range. It's a roll, but if we get the poison, that's that's an, a KO too. And I don't really need Venusaur for anything else. I mean, it loses to pretty much like 3 out of, uh, three out of 6 of his team. Uh, we are going to hit the Pavilion for quite a bit of damage there. I think his Hurricane can knock us out now, but it doesn't necessarily, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's it's still a roll, uh, depending on our investment. I know I have a lot of speed investment. I'm 363, so that's correct. And my special defense is 302, so a little bit less than this. 10 less points, so that means 104. Uh, and his Hurricane is still a roll, so... Um, just going to go for a... Oh, I clicked Giga Drain. Shouldn't have done that. Uh, as that will not be able to take him out. That's quad resisted. Don't know why I went for... Uh, that was a misclick, guys. Sorry, that shouldn't have happened. But it's okay. I'll be able to revenge this Vavillion anyway with my, uh, my Landorus. It is, uh... I think it's... Oh, wait. No, hold on a second. Oh, this is bad. Um... No, I'll be able to revenge it with a zoom roll. Um, kind of forced into a zoom roll because we are adamant and not jolly with our Landorus. Uh, and this thing would outspeed us, so... Uh, just gotta go for an Aqua Jet here. He can keep this if he wants to. Yeah, that's fine. He's gonna go into Trevenant here. Uh, I want to see how much a knockoff from an Azumarill, basically banded without the band. I know I'm running a, a few calcs here at the end, but uh, don't really want to lose to a team with Trevenant, Blissey, and uh, Vavillion on it. Uh, obviously, Woodhammer would kill me. How much does knockoff do to this thing? Knockoff does 90 to 106. So yeah, that's pretty much a knockout. Uh, yeah, we're going to get rid of that. We are faster even. Uh, he was Citrus. You guys didn't see that, but he was a Citrus Berry, so able to knock that out. Uh, Zoomerill puts in a lot of work, actually. Uh, I think it just pretty much cleans up the game. Zoomerill is definitely getting the thumbnail. You guys would have already seen that, but yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. Especially with living that Giga Drain and being able to knock out that Ludicolo. What a game. What a game. I know he forfeited, but still, what a game. But yeah, the, coming back to the PWM, guys, I'm really uh, looking forward to bringing you guys those games. I've got an update video coming out probably this Saturday as I'm cutting my hair on Friday, and I like to be on cam and be presentable. And my hair is not in the best condition right now, so... Uh, yeah, I'm going to be bringing you an update video. Quite a few things to announce, actually. One of the biggest things is my upload schedule, so be looking out for that. Uh, on this Metagross, I'm just going straight into Garchomp. It's probably going to Mega Evolve and get off some damage here. Had to, uh, had to have a sip of water there. Um, he could be Ice Punch, definitely. Our Landorus uh, Revenge kills this thing though, so I'm not too worried. Uh, I'm just gonna try to get up rocks right here, as he actually lets me. Uh, and he's gonna go Vavillion, and now he's going to go for a Sleep Powder. I don't really need my Garchomp awake though, so I'm just gonna go straight for the, uh, for the Dragon Tail there. That's what I clicked. 
uh, in case he wanted to go for uh, go for Quaver Dance. Uh, it is more accurate than... Uh, oh, he actually chooses to go for Endeavor there, so... Azumarill apparently not going to be putting in as much work as I would have liked it to, so... Uh, just gotta... Uh, he doesn't have a Defogger, so he's gotta let this thing go down. Uh, luckily, we went into Azumarill. Had I stayed in with Garchomp, he would have actually gone down to the Rocky Helmet plus... Uh, plus Rough Skin, so I don't really get that play unless he was actually making a prediction, which is pretty good on his part. I'm just going to go right back into Garchomp on this Metagross. Obviously, it doesn't seem to have... Um, it does not seem to have uh, Ice Punch, so he's going to have to two-hit KO me regardless. Uh, and the next Iron Head might not knock me out, and it does not, so that means he is going to go down to his own recoil here. Uh, well, my recoil specifically, but um, now I can technically bring in an Azu, uh, but I think... Oh, okay, he decides to switch out here. And uh, I am going to wake up, but I'm not going to be able to do anything there. Do I want to go to Starmie here? That might be my best play. His Metagross goes down to an HP Ice at this point, so I'm not concerned about it. Um, I think my best play is indeed into Starmie, because he's probably going to go for a... Yeah, for Stealth Rocks right here, exactly. And now we pretty much get off a free Scald on anything. He might sack his Metagross here. Personally, that's what I would do. And then go into Tornadus, because this thing is obviously not Scarfed. Um, as it went for Stealth Rocks. Unless it is, I, I could be wrong, but it's mo more than likely Rocky Helmet. Um, as you can see, he didn't get any leftovers recovery. But we're just going to go for a Scald right there. He is going to go for a knockoff. That's not going to knock us out because we are uh, def slightly defensive. And I'm just going to go for a Rapid Spin right here and just get rid of these rocks. And if he is Rocky Helmet, then so be it. I'll leave the rocks up on my side, but I'd rather I chance it at this point. Uh, and he is Rocky Helmet, so we are not going to get rid of the rocks, unfortunately. And he is going to go for a rest. Um, I could just go into Az Azumarill here. And just fire off a waterfall at this point. Um, which is what I think I'm going to do, because he doesn't have a good switch to this. At all. Like, Tornadus goes down to waterfall plus Aqua Jet, I believe, after rocks. Yeah, it should. Uh, Blissey doesn't want to come in at all. It's it's not chancy, guys. It doesn't take physical hits as uh, nearly as well. Uh, so this pretty much wraps it up for Landorus right here. As we are going to be able to knock it out. We are going to knock ourselves out in the process, but it's not an issue. Uh, again, like I said before, Blissey does not like taking physical hits. So I think personally my best play is into Magnezone. Take the least amount of rock damage. And I uh, kind of want to sack Garchomp here. Because I don't want this thing to heat wave or superpower me. Um, nah, then again my best uh, play is Volt Switch. As he, is, he does seem to be Life Orb indeed. Um, Garchomp goes down to rocks at this point, but now I can just spam Stone Edge, so if he leaves in his uh, Tornadus to die, then we just win with Landorus, so uh, just going to go for the edge here, as he is going to sack off his Metagross, that's a good play, he's probably going to go into Blissey now, because he knows his Tornadus cannot take a Stone Edge, and uh, we'll see how he wants to play it out. If he goes Blissey, then I'm not scared of Blissey, I'll just switch out into into Garchomp. Might pick up a loss on this one, unfortunately, because of the Rocky Helmet. I should have just Scald it again, but uh, we wouldn't have lost, uh, we wouldn't have lost Starmie and Azumarill. We would have only, we wouldn't have lo lost either one, actually. Uh, just gonna go for the edge here. Unfortunately, we miss as he, uh, misses an Icy Wind, actually. So, miss for miss right there. Uh, <laughs> he's laughing, but we land that Stone Edge, and basically, uh, Landorus is gonna be able to clean this up, because Blissey's gonna come in here. I'm just gonna swap into my Garchomp. And uh, then we're, we're going to EQ this thing twice, and that should be the end of Blissey. So, um, I think I think it takes a sizable, a sizable amount of damage from the EQ, I'm pretty sure. Uh, as it does, it takes 52%, so he can Seismic Toss all he wants, but he's going down to the next one. So that's going to be GG. We were able to pick up three, uh, three wins with this team. Uh, I, th I think I play better when I record, honestly, guys. Uh, I don't know for other YouTubers, but personally, I play a lot more calm. I have a lot more sense in my plays. I talk it out. Uh, it makes more sense to me, so... Uh, and I I'm never playing on tilt because I, I can't really get angry on a recording. I don't want to get angry on a recording, so... This is, uh, this is fun, man. I really like this. If you guys enjoyed, hit that like button down below. It really lets me know that you guys enjoyed the content and that you want to see more. Of course, best way to let me know you want to see more is to subscribe. Uh, if you were offended by any of the content and you don't like it, the best way to show me is to click that like button and to leave a comment. <laughs> I just stole Joey's line there. 
<laughs> if you don't know, that's uh, poking AMD's uh, signature thing, one of his signature things. But uh, no, seriously, guys, I really appreciate all the uh, all the support. Uh, just leave a comment. Let me know uh, if you guys if you guys have any suggestions, of course. And again, I mentioned this on the random battles video, but if you want to join me on any one of these lives, let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to have you on. Just make sure you have a decent mic, and we can communicate on Skype, on Discord, whatever is best for you. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks again for watching. Have a good one. Ciao.